I've been reading this book. It's called Think by Simon Blackburn. It's a compelling introduction to philosophy. That's the subheading. And I got it from my local library. So support your libraries. Um, so this deal has eight chapters and it kind of breaks down high level of like how different philosophical traditions are within those topics. So the first one starts with knowledge. How do we know things? Uh, and it starts with Rene Descartes of the fame of XYZ Cartesian axis. Rene Descartes was a scientific genius, a leader in the scientific revolution and a devout Catholic. So he was trying to reconcile Christianity and religion specifically with science because the question of the time was, well, if science can explain everything, then what is the point of human soul, human freedom and God? Descartes goes off and tries to reconcile it with the um, essentially writing six meditations. Um, he starts off in the first meditation and those meditations are sort of summarized here. I haven't read the meditations myself. I intend to at some point. Uh, maybe once I finish this book, I'll go to the meditations. But Descartes in his first meditation introduces the concept of absolute doubt. He says, well, what if the world, if I have to build um, a complete understanding of the scientific world and uh, defend science while building that uh, understanding then I have to believe that the, that everything must be doubted and he says well my senses have in the past betrayed me they have led me astray so why would I trust them so what if then casting absolute doubt what if the world is not real that what I'm being told by my senses is not real Right, and then uh, he goes on uh, to, he's trying to essentially logic his way through it and says that uh, since he believes he's being deceived, it has to be done by an evil demon. Now, he, this, these are thought experiments. This is not, he's not literally saying there's an evil demon feeding me this. These are thought experiments. He says, well, because I'm being deceived, this has to be an evil demon because a god, his god, will not, is completely just and a good god and won't deceive him. Now, Thus, trying to reason his way through it, he ends his first meditation. The second, he goes into the famous cogito ergo sum, I think, therefore I am. The crux of this argument, based on how the book describes it, is and it breaks down to um, Descartes saying, well, um, you know, like the demon could convince me to do whatever, uh, convince me that I am something else, convince me that I am something that I'm not. But the demon can never convince me that I am not, that I don't exist. By the very virtue of the fact that I'm thinking, I must exist because the demon will never be able to convince me that I don't exist and thus I can't think. Because if I stop thinking, then I do not exist. But because I am thinking, I exist and that is how I know what I am. And it, it, it based on the book, uh, how it, the book describes the second meditation, it's um, Descartes trying to wrestle with the idea of what is the body, you know, what is the I in I think, therefore I am, what is that I? Um, and uh, he sort of comes to this conclusion, or the author Simon Blackburn says that he comes to the conclusion that uh, it is easier for him to completely trust his senses that he exists uh, because he thinks. And that is the only thing that he can be sure of at this point and that closes the second meditation and I, this is my first attempt in a while i've read philosophy in the past aristotle uh, plato and then a bunch of um, south asian philosophy but this is the first time i'm actually getting into deep dense philosophy uh, as a conscious thought or as a conscious choice so it's possible i'm not getting all of it Right, but yeah, so the first two meditations um, goes out by first Descartes just completely doubting everything in the world, saying, hey, everything is not real. You're being told a lie. And this is this him trying to build bases of uh, the world on the scientific method uh, while also trying to bring in God. And then the second one is, um, I think, therefore I am, that no matter how much this demon is feeding me these uh, senses, uh, or feeding my senses these wrong stimuli. He could never convince me that I am not. Just by the action of me thinking I am. 
So as I read more of this book, I'll make these short videos. So if you're following me, I'm on TikTok and YouTube pretty actively as well as on Instagram. So follow me there.